What's up everybody, it is the Goal 60 here for Wednesday, August the 8th, 2018. So yesterday we did have another really good day. We had three official plays, all three of them did cash. One unofficial play that did cash. And we did have three on the over-under beta test that we're running through. And all three of those did push us to be best today. All right, so let's recap yesterday. First game we had in the official plays was Cincinnati, and it was a B bet from the day before. Now, the day before we had them on the run line, they lost by two. Yesterday, we took the value on the money line at minus 107. They were a slight underdog, just barely below even money and uh, or below a pick em. and they did come out on top. They scored early, and they held that lead the entire game. So they get, end up getting the win 6-1. to one which was really good because, like I said, they did give up a run early, but then they bounced right back, and they just controlled the game the rest of the way. The next game we had was St. Louis, and it was also a B bet from the day before. Both days on this one, they were favored and favored in the minus 150 range. Yesterday they came out. They were down 2 to nothing, just like the day before. They were down 2 to nothing for a long, extended amount of time, and finally at the end of the game, they got something going. It took two home runs. But we got three runs out of those and got the W 3-2. to two. Yesterday we also had a new series start up with Boston on an A-bet. And Boston actually was behind the Blue Jays for a large amount of this game. I mean, they were down, I believe it was a 4-1 to one for most of the game. And then in the eighth inning, they actually had a four-run inning where they took the lead 5-5. Five to five. They did let the uh, Blue Jays come back and tie it up, I believe in the ninth inning. It was 5-5 five to five going into extras, and then in the 10th inning, the Red Sox had a huge inning where they put up five more runs to go up 10-5. to five. They did give up two in the bottom of the 10th, so it was kind of a nervous feeling there. You know, you didn't know if the Blue Jays were going to try and make a run here, but we did finish out the game 10-7. to seven. So that was a good win there, and so that made us go 3-0 and oh on all the official plays. Now, the one unofficial play we had was a revenge play, and that was with the Rays. Yesterday, the Rays were minus 166. Otherwise, it would have been a, an official play. Price was just a little bit too high, but either way, they came out. They were down for a little bit, fought back, took the lead, and won the game 4-3. to three. So, a big win there for the Rays on a revenge play against uh, the Orioles, and they move on from that series. Now, this game was involved in the over-under beta, and I'll get to that in just a second. Now, the beta test did not do so well. It had three games and did go 0-3 yesterday, pushing us to B bets today. Now, also, I will say this before we get started. The first one was actually supposed to be a B bet, but if you remember, the Detroit and Angels game was uh, pushed on... Monday, it was actually, they scored eight, and the over-under was eight. So we pushed that game, which forced us into the next day carrying it over. And yesterday, I did give it out as an A-bet again. Looking back on it, probably should have skipped that, only because that, that moved us to a two-game series. And just for whatever reason, the few years I've been looking at all this research, two-game series are just way too unpredictable, I guess I could, is the best way to put it. And it doesn't give you enough time to you know bounce back and get something going like last night there was seven or nine runs scored in the first inning. we lost the under in the first inning which is terrible and it sucks but i guess it gives you a reason that you can go on to bed because there's no reason to stay up and watch that game but either way now we're down to one game and it's a b bet so we're still going to ride it because i did give it out yesterday but just keep that in mind i think in the future and I actually talked about this with David yesterday as well, but with a three-game series, if that first game is pushed, you know, we'll drop that series because we'll be down to a two-game series. Now, if it's a four-game series and that first game is pushed, we'll probably just – we're going to carry it because you still got three games. you still got a three-game series involved. Now, <clears throat> let's say that the push comes in the, in the B game or even, you know, the C game of a four-game series, something like that. I think you just got to kind of bite the bullet and keep moving. I think you got to carry everything you're doing to the next game. Yes, it limits you on the amount of games in that series to uh, bounce back, but that's just kind of part of it. Now, this doesn't happen a ton. You know, a lot of these 
uh, totals or they have that half run on there which obviously you can't tie and even smaller than that is that when it's going to happen like this this is a rare situation where the total in the first game was tied so that doesn't happen a ton but when it does i think that's the direction we're going to go if it's a three game series and it pushes the first game we're just going to drop the series if it's a four game series and it pushes the first game we're going to continue because we've still got three games to go now we'll recap and talk about today so yesterday like i said the angels and the tigers they come out i guess and felt like it was a like it was still batting practice and went off in the first inning but either way they lost that game it was 11 to 5 was the final score so 16 runs we needed under eight um and it did not work out for us obviously so today they are under eight and a half and it's a low low number i guess because they expect people or people are already jumping on that over but we're looking at under eight and a half at minus 102. the next game was san diego and milwaukee they also scored 11 to 5 so 16 runs total there we were under eight and a half uh, minus 108 now today they are under nine minus 126 so that is a little bit more price but hopefully they can stay under that nine today and then finally, we had Baltimore and Tampa Bay. And like I talked about earlier, the final score of that game was 4-3. to three. I believe that fourth run was scored in the ninth by the uh, Rays, maybe the eighth. But either way, it was late in the game. And uh, I was hoping it would go into extra innings because then you can, you can kind of hope that the team, the road team can score and then the uh, home team can try to bounce back and tie it up. And if that would have happened one more time, four to four, we would guarantee ourselves a win because we had the over eight plus 104. There were seven scored in the game, so obviously we went under by a run. Today, we're still going to be looking at the over, but there is not a line posted. So nothing's posted yet. We'll keep that a watch on it. See what happens. All three of these games, like I said, are in B bets. Just the first one, the Detroit and Los Angeles game, is you know, this is the last game of the series. So we'll just keep a watch on it. Hopefully all three of them will flip from what they did yesterday and uh, we'll get a 3-0 and day. But that's all I have. No official, no unofficial, just watching these three games on the beta test. So have a great Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. 60% of the time, it works every time.